okay, a little pretentious the subject, but uh, it works. It works because it's a subject that uh, promises something new. Um, I am a I am not surprised, but um, finding such common things on what is happening in Argentina uh, than what is happening in Albania from what Albina told us uh, by Albania. Uh, a lot of common things uh, regarding the digital, the digital brief. So, um, I, uh, I am talking today about another project, which is, um, which is a project that uh, we worked with Avante. So first, I'm going to go uh, with a brief introduction. Um, we are Entornos, uh, Argentinian Moodle partner since, uh, I don't know, for 18 years now. Uh, we are based in Argentina and work for everywhere. Uh, and we are a premium Moodle partner, so we are working on uh, a lot with Moodle Workplace, uh, as the previous cases too. Um, so we are one of the oldest partners and uh, we are 40% uh, male, 60% female composed, uh, which we are super happy. Um, and so, hello, our customer now. Our customer is uh, Axion. Axion is, uh, oops, sorry, I, I think I don't have the notes here, my friend. Hello, I don't have the notes. Can you, can you please change it so my memory is, uh, if you, so if we have time, we can wait for it. Is it very? <laughs> what do you think? Creo que creo que pusiste el anterior, el que estaba vacío. Huh? Well, meanwhile, I can tell a joke. Uh, what? <laughs> no, I want to I want to know something. Uh, while we wait for that, uh, how many of you? know for a fact, uh, and this is an education question, how many of you know about, for certain, about the difference between a stock and a bond? Please raise your hand. Please raise your hand. One, two. All right, two. Two people. Um, this is financial education. We live in a world where if you earn some money and you keep the money in the bank, you are losing money, okay? So you should know basics about investment. I know investment and uh, financial world is something that uh, is not great for this environment. We are talking about education and so on, but after you get educated and, and you start working, uh, you want to earn your living and uh, uh, Martin talked about that yesterday when he said that uh, we can have two ways regarding AI. One way would be AI will do work for us, so we will have free time to learn and to do other stuff. Uh, and the other way where AI will replace, will simply replace jobs and gather more money for the multinational companies and we will all be worse. In either way, we should know what to do with our money. And being in this environment uh, where uh, we, we, we have educated people, probably with master levels, mostly, uh, it, is, it is noticeable that only two in this audience know the difference on a basic element of investment which is uh, stocks and bonds. So uh, I recommend you, <laughs> you go and read on that. But also, I want to extrapolate this with this case because in this case, we are talking about even, even uh, lower level financial education because you can know about stocks and bonds 
when you have say $500 to invest, okay? So you take those and you decide I'm going for stocks of Apple or we're going to bond bonds of the treasure, whatever. Uh, but when you have to administer your money to live, uh, you can't go wrong because when, when you don't know what a cash flow is and you have a small, thanks a lot guys, thanks a lot. Uh, when, when, you, when you have a small business and you, can't, and you don't know what you are wasting your money on, uh, you are screwed. Uh, so back to the presentation. I just skipped ahead a few slides. Uh, this is the project I want to share with you. Uh, Ovante belongs to an organization, a non-profit organization called Acción. Acción has, I don't know, 40 years working a lot, a lot of time in the, in the region. Uh, and this is an, an organization that aims to provide financial tools uh, to improve the lives of, uh, of people. So uh, regarding that question, which I uh, already did, uh, the conclusion is if here where we or probably went to a university didn't have any basic financial education, uh, imagine those who weren't happy, uh, weren't lucky enough to have even basic uh, money management uh, information. So, uh, this project aims at uh, small entrepreneurs. Uh, uh, we are talking about small farmers, uh, street food sellers, small shop owners. Uh, the kind of people that doesn't, that has little entrepreneurs but uh, little enterprises uh, um, that, that makes them enough to survive um, with limited digital capabilities uh, and Ovante offers them training and while they train themselves to grow, they also improve uh, their ability to access sources of funds. So, you, you have financial institutions that usually wouldn't take these people because they don't have any record in, in the financial system. So financial inclusion is included in, in, in six of the 17 United Nations Sustainable Development Goals. Um, so the challenge here was how to promote the digital development of a predominantly analog sector. So this is the, our challenge. And we will solve it through a techno-pedagogical project combining the both of, of best words and uh, enhance and enrich the educational experiences of these people. So four dimensions I will be talking about. User experience. Uh, first of all, in user experience, um, it's fundamental because we are talking about training in digital tools to people that have few access to digital tools. So we worked with two focuses to, I can mention two important things. One was the uh, differentiated circuits for audiences since according to the data the person completes in the user creation form, the system places the user on the corresponding tenant. So there is a first selection that has to be super simple for these people to define who I am to the system so we can know what is the bare information we can give them. So we have uh, these kind of forms. We, we did a lot of customization in able to, for instance, depending on the answer of the country field, uh, all, the other, all the other fields change. Um, and also the second thing is an enriched profile. Uh, imagine this. There's uh, a, a woman that sells uh, tortillas in the street, okay? Uh, she never had a bank account. The bank doesn't know she even exists. So uh, in order for the bank to start giving them money, uh, she has to uh, build a profile. But we cannot uh, simply ask like uh, in a user form, tell them, what's your name? I am um, Juanita, whatever. Uh, what's your annual income? 
Okay, let me think. What's your, what's the last time you had a problem with the financial institution? Oh my God, we lost, we lost her. So the first process, in the first process we, we ask Juanita uh, one, two, three questions, elementary questions, so she's in. And we can start uh, step by step building this profile. So we start enriching the profile in Moodle Workplace through different stages. And, and, and for that, uh, what we uh, have been doing uh, is, uh, is quite complex in terms of, of, of technical. Through the courses and as part of the training, some of the activities are in SCORM format. So we gather information uh, using interactive activities within the SCORMs, which are manually built SCORMs on the other one. I can dip on that later if you want. Uh, and these SCORMs gather information and from that information we extract them uh, and, and build this profile. So we translate information that uh, is out of the course and put it in the profile of that person. So after each course the profile is more enriched. So before we had the name, maybe email or not because probably doesn't have an email. Uh, and after several courses, we know more of this person. We, we, not, we, we start knowing a lot of information. So the information collected in each SCORM feeds the next. So we are communicating information from one SCORM object to another, which is for the technical people here, you, you know it's difficult. That was a challenge for us. Uh, we worked with, um, uh, with a member of the Moodle community, we, uh, with uh, David Herney. Uh, I, I will talk about him later. Uh, uh, and we, we, we collaborated with him a lot doing this. Uh, so this is, this is one of the questions. Uh, do you have your own, do you run your own business? This is a question, yes or no? Okay, next. And, um, I'm going to the next uh, axis here, which is management. We had to know a lot of these people. We are gathering a lot of information. We have to uh, report it. So one of the management needs involved the approval of users and the assignment to an advisor. Uh, remember, um, uh, during the morning there was another, another, uh, another uh, uh, presentation. Uh, where, where, where it was talked about the, the, the tutors, the people that follow uh, students. Well, uh, that, that's something, that's a step that has to be done here. So uh, you probably know this. Uh, this is a, rep, a custom report built with, um, within Moodle Workplace and default reports with columns and so on. Uh, I, I, I like the, the concept of usable reports that, uh, uh, that was presented before by Lauren. Uh, what we did is create actionable reports. So as you can see here, there is one field there that uh, is interactive. So uh, in every row you have a, 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 um, a drop down where you can decide that this person, Analia, will be assigned to this supervisor. So uh, I think this is, this is one, of the, one of the nice developments we did because uh, this of course works with Workplace, so this assignment goes to the organization structure, not to break anything, okay, but it gives quick uh, a quick way to access that organization structure that sometimes is obscure for the for a common uh, user and gives a new interface uh, from a report that also can be modified. Uh, so these elements trigger an action. Oh, the the animation worked. That's great. So you choose the the person and then it's selected. Okay, and after that this. With 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 uh, with it, that this triggers a lot of rules and the emails are sent and okay. Uh, one really important was the gamification part. 
we, we need to engage with these people, which is something I am trying to do with you because we are all thinking about lunch and uh, this is the last presentation. So this is very important because these are heavy subjects. Uh, I invite you to try to understand financial stuff. Uh, it's a good subject for uh, before sleep. Uh, so um, in the, the engagement is super important. Uh, we need them to advance. So we work together with the creator of the menu topic course type, uh, expanding a plugin called Ludifica. Uh, Ludifica allows you to award points to users based on actions within the course or within the campus. We, we, we had to do this because there are many good tools on, on gamifications like game, uh, Brazilian plugin, which is super great. And uh, uh, well, there are many, many good, but um, they, they didn't have all the things we need because we needed to give, give them rewards for activities, for completion of competencies, for things that they did at a side level. For instance, we give them awards if they complete a profile level. If they, give the, if they give us an email, they are awarded and so on. So we expanded that. Uh, these points are converted into coins. So you, you win experience points that are always with you, like, a, like, uh, like your experience. But as you win this experience point, some of them are converted into coins. And then your coins, you can use them uh, in to buy stuff. Uh, this is uh, a highly customizable graphical interface uh, so you can build your narrative. In this case the narrative is the narrative of a city uh, with a store and for instance here you can exchange the coins for avatars. So you can build your avatar. Do you see here the, wait a minute, back. Here the, the, the avatar is a gray figure but you can choose beautiful ones so but you, ha you have to buy them. So in order to buy them you have to earn points, you have to complete activities. So uh, this, this is super engaging and um, you can also exchange coins for other assets and benefits. For instance here you can win um, a marketing uh, banner. You can publicize your business, uh, digital marketing assets. You can build things that will uh, enhance your business, okay? And of course, last but not least, never least, the learning component. We made a big effort to work with original content. Um, these courses were built with linear navigation logic in the form of a dialogue between characters. Uh, uh, high customization was done, but thanks to the the the, the flexible uh, structure of the workplace theme, uh, it was it was not easy to change that. Uh, so dialogue linear, uh, but also um, within this course format, we could add a lot of development. So. Uh, you have audio there, uh, you have a ranking and uh, pop-up activities. The, these, these activities are native activities like a quiz but uh, instead of, uh, of, of making a click they are embedded in a modal. So you are next, next, next and appears this uh, in, in, in a modal which is, um, which is uh, the, the, the sequence of navigation we found more useful. Um, so what does this project entail? Uh, it was definitely a very challenging project for the whole team. We assembled an integrated team between uh, Acción uh, and Entornos to make this. It wasn't, it, it, hadn't, it, it couldn't be possible with a, without a hybrid team. Uh, a lot of challenges, uh, a lot of growth, um, very, a lot of hours of work, many, 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 but uh, also, of course, multidisciplinary work, as I said, collaboration with the Moodle community, back and forth with uh, improving existing uh, plugins, which 
uh, made us build an unobtrusive platform for our assist our users and finally build an ecosystem tailored to its users. So uh, this is it. Thanks a lot for your time. Thanks Pablo. We have like three minutes for questions. So oh, there is one there. Hello. Yes. Uh, thank you for the presentation. Uh, I have a question about those plugins. Were they created specially for you or they are available? I didn't catch the name. Uh, some of them are, are, are available and some of them are available uh, through uh, Bundle Partners, through premium Bundle Partners, mm -hmm. which because they are uh, very linked to Workplace. So for instance, Ludifica, uh, this, this gamification mm -hmm. plugin, if, if you have a service, uh, if you mm -hmm. buy service from a premium Moodle partner, you, you can have it. Uh, okay, thank so, you. Yeah. There it was a question. Yeah, could you please explain a little bit more about uh, gamification in terms of uh, rewards, coins, rewards? How do you do that? Yes, 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 I like that. Uh, I will go back to the presentation to tell you. I don't know if it's working. Está apagado o no? Así. Ah, gracias. Well, as you, as you can see here, well, here you have a, one, one of the first, uh, th this is part of the, uh, the this gamification, it's a gamification system, it's not just one plugin, it's several plugins comp um, comprising a whole system. For instance, this is the, uh, a ranking blog, uh, which, which is, I, I think there's not many, much difference with the, the, the one that is, these two are public, um, but they were integrated. Uh, this, for instance, when you uh, start doing job, doing work, uh, for instance, you, you, you answer that quiz. If you answer that, uh, you have an option in the system and you can decide, well, this activity gives the user, I don't know, 10 experience points uh, and two coins. So after that is finished, these numbers here will increase. You also can decide that the, after having, I don't know, 100 points, you automatically get uh, 50 coins because you reach level two, you are a senior now, so you deserve more coins. So basically, uh, you can assign coins to the people for, for anything that you want. Uh, that's why I mentioned if, if uh, y one thing we are using is that when the user uh, adds information to their profile, in the user profile, the, the system detects that and gives them rewards. Uh, so it, it's a fairly complex system but it's, it's very simple to configure. And then when you have those uh, coins, you can exchange them uh, in, the, in, the, in, the, um, in the store uh, in this case for digital assets, which are the, the avatars, you can, have, you can buy dresses and whatever, uh, and also physical uh, assets. You can, with the coins, you can probably buy whatever you want to, to, to give your users. This is something uh, we have been using in corporate education also. So the, the, the workers can get stuff uh, concrete stuff for them. <laughs>